Now, one of the things that happened over the evolution that we're having right now, but in this thing called the past, as we have evolved here, you know, we, our brains used to be only three pounds, and now they're up to you know, 30 pounds in some human beings. Not only did we gain mass, but we gained functionality. And one of the functions that came with this evolution of the brain as it grew inside this human skull was something that's called the prefrontal cortex. Okay, the prefrontal lobe, the prefrontal cortex. And its job is to be a life simulator. Okay, it's to predict the future. You know, and so to give you, I'll have you, we'll do a little experiment right now so you can experience your prefrontal lobe. Right? So, here's your prefrontal lobe. Let's pretend, okay, we are in a meeting today for Joe's Ice Cream Company, for peace. Okay, we, we, we got peace cream. That's what, we, that's what we're here for. This is the first peace cream meeting, and we're having this new ice cream company for generating peace on the planet. Right? And again, so here's our board meeting. We're all in here, and I'm presenting to you today my recipes for the various flavors. And the very first flavor that I've come up with, I think it's going to be huge, guys. Wait, okay, okay, I'll share it with you because I'm very excited. The very first flavor I think should be chicken ice cream. Doesn't that sound great? Oh, and then my next one is liver ice cream. Yeah. Now, what just happened? And what made you laugh was that your prefrontal lobe made an association with the past of this data that it has in what I call your typewriter list, and it said, mm, no, not a good idea. Project it out into the future. The people aren't going to like that. Not a good idea. And you just experienced your prefrontal lobe. Now, this prefrontal lobe was very useful when we were trying not to be eaten by cyber, you know, by, by, by tigers and lions and, you know, and snakes and trying to figure out how to stay warm in the cave and we're in survival mode and it's, it's been very useful for our evolution. But now we're no longer in that quote unquote survival mode. And so what happens is, is that our prefrontal lobe manufactures adversaries. Illusory adversaries. Now, many of these adversaries are actually put in there. Many of these adversaries, as we know, you know, Osama and 9-11, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. We could list them, and then we could spend an hour here just listing all of these, quote-unquote, adversaries that we need to be fearful of, whether it was the commies or it's the this or that, you know. 